loves, how are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing um, your monthly reading and this will be for December. And I'm going to be using um, the uh, Gypsy, for Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards today. Um, and I'm going to be doing a new spread. <clears throat> so this is all going to be new um, to me. Um, but I figured I would try it out and see how it goes and see uh, how the readings work. Um, I have done several on myself and they're amazing. So that's why I wanted to try it with you guys. So um, let's get on with it. So um, let's give these some shuffles. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful holiday and everything was going good for you guys. Um, everything's been going good with me, uh, starting to do some Christmas decorating. So I got my stairs done and, um, my tree put up if the cats will leave it alone. <laughs> All they're doing is playing in it. So I hope you like this. This is some Tibetan music. Um, I love Tibetan music. Um, it's just so calmful and peaceful and relaxing and it helps me to meditate, so. Alright. Alright. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Aries needs to know for the month of December of 2020, please? All right, let me see here, guys. I don't think my table's big enough. <laughs> okay. So the first cards that I am going to read, okay, are, um, these cards are going to shape your destiny. So these cards are close to what your destiny is going to be. Okay. So the first card I have is the seven of spades. Let me just read these through these guys and then we'll work with them. Okay, so the first card is a domestic happiness. Okay. So you have domestic happiness that will be coming into you. Um, we also have the uh, eight of hearts. And this is um, indicates flattery. So somebody is very, um, they, they, they are trying to flatter you. They're trying to uh, show you that they like you. And they're trying to get you uh, to spend time with them. So they really care about you a lot. And then I have the Ace of Hearts. Okay, this is um a little bit of danger. It says distance, distant danger. So there could be some kind of danger that may be happening or that you might want to watch out for. So be careful of travel. Be careful of, uh, you know, maybe stepping outside and falling or something like that. Just be careful of a little bit of that. Um, then we have uh, the two of spades. This card um, 
it uh, ensures success in all enterprises. So all the enterprises um, that you are undertaking, uh, they're going to be very, very uh, successful. Okay, so whatever you're undertaking right now is going to be very, very successful. Then we have the Queen of Spades, and this is an Amar sign. Um, that someone is looking with you at gr with great love and longing. So you have somebody that is um, looking at you, like the other card says, um, the Eight of Hearts. They're looking at you... Um, and they want this great love and this great longing. They are very in tune with you. They want to get to know you. They are, um, even if it is somebody that you're with, they love you. They they long for you. Okay, then we have the four of clubs. <clears throat> this is an auger of su success. So another successful card. Um, so it, it's very, very... Uh, you know, everything looks like it's going to be very successful for you. Okay, then we have the 14, the number 14 card, and it is uh, the Jack of Diamonds. And this ensures good news, okay? Um, very good news for you. Uh, so good news is coming in. It's on the rise of your love coming in. So this is awesome, guys. Um, then we have uh, the King of Spades. This um, ensures that for a single person, it's you're going to have fulfillment of your highest aims. So you're going to have the highest aims. Um, people are, somebody wants you. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody wants to be close to you. Somebody is in love with you uh, very, very deeply. Okay, so the next set of cards that I have here for you guys, okay, they uh, are going to represent the forces that surround you, okay? So the first card I have is the King of Diamonds, and it's a letter, um, it's good tidings are going to be coming, uh, good tidings are here, good tidings are coming to you, um, good things are um, good fortune, you know, so that's a great card. Then we have the uh, Six of Diamonds, and this is um, a sudden shock. You're going to get a sudden shock from some kind of a bad news. Um, the lion here in the card, It's it, something is going to be going on. Something is going to happen. It's going to give you a shock. shock. It's going to give you a wake-up call. Okay, it's going to say, yo, you know, I'm here. This is happening right now. So um, then we have the eight of spades. There is a higher um, energy. Okay, you have um, somebody, enemy. I'm sorry, enemy. So you have a higher enemy um, that is very mighty, um, that wants to cause you some harm, maybe wants to take this love interest away. Um, but there is somebody that is very jealous of you, very, very jealous of you. And, um, so keep an eye out for that. Okay. Then I have, um, the four of spades. This denotes great interest, um, taken with friends. So you're you're going to you're going to be doing a lot with your friends. Um your friends are there for you. Your friends are there um they want to want you to be with them. They want you to watch them. You know, they want to watch over you and make sure that you're protected. Then we have the uh jack of hearts. This is a discovery um of a mystery um that is going to affect you for the better. Okay, some kind of a mystery that's going to affect you for the better. Then I have the nine of spades. Nine of spades is, um, it indicates beauty and rugged health. So you are beautiful 
and you are going to have some rugged health. Good health is coming to you. Then we have the three of spades. The three of sp spades is the pig, okay? And the pig is an omen of a phenomenal look. He is a great, it, it, it's great abundance. Um, the pig is a, a, a very auspicious character um, for that, um, for great luck and abundance. So that will be coming to you. And the last card here, we have the Eight of Diamonds. And this is, um, it, it's broken glass. Um, you know, somebody broke a glass. So it's going to be uh, some luck, some ill luck that is coming up to you, uh, that it's like breaking a, a piece of glass. So you're going to have some bad luck for some years to come. Okay. So I don't know what kind of bad luck, but you're going to have some kind of bad luck that will be coming to you here in the near future. Okay. So let's, um, okay. So that's that reading. So I want to, uh, pull, a couple cards here and see what this bad luck is. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is this bad luck that may be coming? Oh, let's not use those cards. Let's use these ones. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it on um, this eight of diamonds here? What is this bad luck? <clears throat> Um, it's going to have to do with, I have the three of pentacles, okay? And it's going to have to do with your work. <clears throat> um, that um, meticulous part of you, that, that, cla it, that craftsmanship that you do, there, it's something to do with your, the craftsmanship. Um, it's something to do with um, your work, um, maybe uh, some teamwork. Maybe you'll have a little bit of tr trouble with some teamwork um, with those that you work with, okay? Is there another card here I wanted? No, I think that's it. Everything else looked good. So that is what I have for you guys. So let's pull an oracle. And see what it is the universe wants to speak to you about. Let's put those back. So angels, guides, and spirits. Thank you for that reading. And uh, universe, what is it that you would like to say to my Aries? Or what does Aries needs to know? Like I said, guys, I hope that didn't distract you too much. Um, I am very new it reading these cards, but I wanted to do a reading with those um, just to see if you guys liked it. And I will work on that um, a little bit more. Um, but I, I think it does a nice reading. Um, I really do. So so just bear with me, guys, um, on, these, on that reading, um, you know, with those cards. So... We have rebirth, purification, and completion, okay? So, things that are happening to you guys, you're going to be reborn. Um, new good things are going to be coming in. Um, we have that rebirth. We have purification. So, things are going to start to heal for you. You are going to have that healing. You're going to have um, that rebirth, you also have a completion of a cycle. So, it is an end to something. You're going to end something and begin again. So, that cycle of life, that one cycle of life that you've been going through is at an end. Okay? We have that, that full moon. You know, it's an end of a cycle, a beginning of a new cycle. 
and then we just have, you know, that purification, which is all about, um, you know, taking time to look at things in new, you know, th that bad stuff is going. It's gone. It's going away. And everything is going to come in and it's going to come in fresh. It's going to come in new. And hopefully it's that love life, you know, that that person that is watching you, that person that is caring about you, that person that loves you. So I hope this helps you guys. Remember, guys, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you. Until next time, have a absolutely beautiful December. Bye, guys. Thank you.